We are live, and I'm about to have a pinch me moment because, you know, all hour long, we've been meeting people who are the embodiment of courage and conviction. And in the case of our next guest, comedy, for more than five decades, legendary comic Marsha Warfield <laughs> has delivered nonstop laughs, first as one of her generation's boldest stand-ups, then as the star of the beloved sitcom, I did not miss, did I tell you, I didn't miss an episode of Night Court. I love Night Court. Where she played the tough, no-nonsense bailiff, Roz Russell, for more than 30 years after the influential show came to an end, the Chicago native right. stunned and delighted fans when she made a surprise return to the courtroom, appearing in the season one finale of the new Night Court reboot. Take a look. Another fight at a bachelorette party in the French Quarter. Okay, bailiff, bring in this bride to be. <sighs> Roz? Fielding, they made you a judge. Take me back to jail. She loves me. Is back for season two of Night Court. She's also set to return to the stage in Netflix is a joke fest alongside stars like Jerry Seinfeld and Wanda Sykes. Tam fam, please welcome this legend, Marsha Warfield! <laughs> Uh, this is a pinch me moment. Oh. Do you know how I, I love you so much? Oh. I really do. The feeling is more than mutual. And you're just celebrating your 70th birthday. 70th. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> I mean, I first of all, I can't believe it. Look how gorgeous you are. Oh, thank but, you. But uh, you celebrated your birthday on the job. Yes. You had to work. <laughs> yes. Don't you they know, know you're a legend? Well, they, you know, for us, there's nothing better yeah. than working at doing what you love uh, when, when you have a birthday. It's like yeah. a blessing into the next year. Yeah. And so I was on the set. That was at my birthday party. My wife threw it for me. Uh -huh. But um, on the set of Night Court, when I got there for rehearsal the first day, oh. there were 70 roses in my dressing room. Oh. They were like... Okay. They were beautiful. First of all, obviously, fans went crazy when you were in the finale of season one, and just even more so celebrating the fact that your your character, Roz, is there. And, you know, I always wonder, like, oh, gosh, the timing of when to interview someone. And the timing for this interview is so special for me to watch you be empowered through this character who's now openly gay on the show. Yes. And... <laughs> It coincides with the fact that you came out 2017. Came out publicly. Publicly. Yes. Yes. You are, you mentioned your boo in your social media. My boo baby. Your boo baby, yes. your wife. Right. Who's in our audience right <laughs> now? Oh my God. I this beautiful. Well, I mean, okay, I gotta put down the notes. <laughs> I gotta know more about this love story. Okay. You were doing a stand up. Yes. And what happened? She heckled me. She heckled you. <laughs> she heckled me. I did a line about I was looking for a younger woman. Uh, you know, somebody still juicy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> some, somebody about 50, 55. <laughs> and she said, right here. I'm right here. <laughs> Angie. <laughs> Angie. You all got married last August. Is that a true story? Did you really do that? Yes. yes. So yes, you I really did. heckled her? I did. <laughs> had you had, I don't know, a drink? Yes. <laughs> I was uh, two drinks in, and I, <laughs> I can was... only do a half a drink. And yeah. <laughs> it was her birthday. Uh huh. It was her birthday, and she, uh, we have a mutual friend, Pam Warner, and uh, said, 
my friend is having a birthday, she wants to come to your show. So she came to the show and was celebrating her birthday. And for some reason, she found me uh, like a gift. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Marsha, the gift <laughs> keeps on giving. Marsha Warfield. And I will hit on your mama. <laughs> and it ain't your business if she hit back. That's between me and your mama. <laughs> so you just go on outside and play. <laughs> we'll call you when you can come back. Whoa, that was legendary comedy actress. Marsha Warfield, clip from Netflix is a joke, comedy fest, Jerry Seinfeld, Wanda Sykes. How freeing is it to be able to, to, to use your humor and your real life as a part of it? It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. This time, you know, from where I started in 1974, to be here where we are now is amazing. But on that show, that Netflix is a joke show, that was the uh, Wanda's um, stand up, stand out. Yeah. And it was the largest gathering of LGBTQ people ever. Wow. Okay? Yeah. And when, yeah. when we came out, we were at the Greek theater. Oh, wow. And when we came out, we saw all these people. And Wanda, as one of the producers, was overwhelmed. She was like, Oh my goodness. And I said, honey, take this moment. You did this. This is all about you and feel all your feelings. Yeah. You know? And Wanda has been, has been a supporter, has been uh, instrumental in helping me uh, win my comeback. Wanda, Adele Because Gibbons. you took away, you, you took off, what, 30 years? About 20 years, yeah. 20 years yeah. from the business. Yeah. And you're back, and, and people are loving the fresh stand-up. They're <laughs> loving Night Court. I was looking at your social media, and you showed a throwback of the Richard Pryor show in the late 70s. Yeah. And I am a huge Richard Pryor fan. And, and I know you said that he gave you some advice, yeah. career advice, that you think about to this day. What did he tell you? Richard was just Richard. He mm. was just, I don't even remember what he said. I remember just learning so much uh, being on his show and it, it, it opened the doors completely. Uh, Paul Mooney uh, had but was been working on the show and he uh, got us all booked through there. So we all got our union cards and everything from being on the show. We got to be uh, ensemble players and we, we learned how to do it your way yeah. and accept the chips that, you know, the however the chips yeah. land. Just do it your way. Do it your way. Yeah. And I love the way you've done it. So, you have, you're about to do a one woman show, The Book of Marsha. Yes, everybody says, you should, write a, you should write a book. I'm a stand-up. So I can tell you my story better than I can, All than right. write it down. And, and so, <laughs> come see me do that. And uh, hopefully there'll be more chapters and more part one, two, or whatever. Uh, and we're doing a, a, it's a one woman show with music and video. And uh, we're doing it at Netflix as a joke this year. Oh, I can't and wait. we'll be doing it uh, hopefully to be its own special. Uh, Let's call it out now. <laughs> Marsha's special. We got to see it. The Book of Marsha. Congratulations Thank on you so everything. Much. We love and honor you so much. Peacock. Marsha will be in the season two finale.